All right, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Primos Gobstopper combo that I received. I got it off Amazon for about 20 bucks. Pretty good deal. I just got in this Avian X Lookout Hen. So I just wanted to kind of do a comparison to see how a Primos decoy uh, it says right here on the box. Uh, compare the quality, check the price. So that's kind of what I want to do. I got these two decoys. I think MSRP, usually when you see a Cabela's or something, they're about oh, 60 bucks for this set. But like I said, I found it on Amazon for around $20. And uh, the Avian X is about uh, 80 bucks just for the one decoy. So this is my first time taking out of, out of the box. I have a decoy bag, steak, and here's the Avian X hen. Comes deflated. <clears throat> You can already see on this how much detail there is in the head, in the body, everything else. All right, so I got this Avian X head blew up about three uh, big breasts for me. And I'm here in Denver, so a little bit thinner oxygen as well. Uh, you can see the detail that went into this decoy. I've used a couple of these in the past. Other people have, and uh, they seem a little bit smaller than previous models but a lot more detail. That's just my recollection. Blow it up, there's just a little stem. Pull it out, here the air come out. So, really pretty, beautiful decoy, of course. Sorry, I have a puppy here that wants to play. All right, and now this Primo's God, stop her hand. There's a. Usually they come and they're little folded and stuff like that, but they pop out relatively easy. So here's that hen. I've used quite a few Primos decoys before in the past, the She Mobiles and stuff like that, and have killed birds over them. No problem. Uh, this. So, here you go. Here's a comparison. You can see the Primos is maybe a, quite a bit bigger. The detail isn't there in the Primos decoy. I'll take this plastic off the head. look like the base color is pretty similar but the avian has all the copper tones and all the just everything you know so well done and everything I don't know how much that makes a difference I I remember my dad or a lot of people have shot the turkeys over uh, just old foam decoys and stuff like that so I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes but the decoy is 
definitely bigger. The Primo's decoy, they're probably half the weight of this Avian, so real light. So if you're packing in, that's a pretty good option there. The Primo's comes with a carrying bag as well. And a steak. The nice thing about this hen is you could use it uh, either up on the stake to get it visible, you could put it down on the ground so it's a submissive hen. Uh, looks like it's getting ready to get bred, which can really get those toms fired up a lot of times. And here's the Jake decoy. Here's the Jake decoy. Little beard on it. It's probably about the same size as a B Mobile, roughly. Uh, good decoy, light. The head's really nice, beautiful. Uh, Scratch in here to see if I can get any paint off. Uh, paint seems to be holding up all right for just this little bit. But once you start throwing it in the bag and in the back of your truck and walking through the bushes and stuff like that, uh, stuff rubs off and everything. Probably doesn't make that huge a diff that huge a difference though in the long run. Uh, I'm definitely going to be using this decoy there here in a few weeks here in Colorado. I have a shotgun archery tag or a shotgun uh, turkey tag. So all three of these decoys will be going out with me. Uh, size comparison. This is a half strut Jake and here's an Avian X hen. Uh, so you can kind of see size comparison. This Jake decoy is uh, still lighter than this Avian X hen. So carrying a bunch of these around all day would definitely get uh, definitely get heavy. Shoulders would be feeling it. But for going, if you can just drive up, set up in a your blind, and like a lot of us can do, uh, you know, no problem. Even if you're hiking around, it's not like hiking out an elk quarter or something like that. So, but overall, these are the uh, new decoys. Again, the the Gobstopper Hen. The Avian X lookout hen. And the Gobstopper Jake. So hopefully, I'll post a video here in a few weeks with them in action. And hopefully there's some blood and feathers on the ground with them.